Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 28 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field dance. So there, we need to determine the magnitude and the direction of the electric field dance at the point of middle way between two charges, Q1 and Q2. And there, Q1 is a positive charge, Q2 is a negative charge. And we need to find the electric field dance in the middle. So in the middle means it is the distance between Q1 and the middle point is just a half of the distance between Q1 and Q2, agree? So L over 2. Now, we need to determine the direction for Q1 and Q2. Q1 is a positive charge, so the electric field dance will be radically outward, agree? And in the x direction in this line, it will be moved outward, so E1 move outward. Look at Q1 outward, that is pointing to the positive x direction. Now we look at Q2. Q2 is a negative charge, so the electric field dance will move in radically inward, right? Radically inward. And in the x direction, it is just pointing to the positive x direction. So in this way, we determine the direction E1 and E2. Now you can see. As we talk about, electric field dance is a vector. If we want to add two vectors together, we can consider their direction. They are at the same direction, x direction. So that, that way means we can just consider the magnitude of E1 and the magnitude of E2, add them together, we get the total electric field dance at the middle point, right? Now, next question, how can you find the magnitude uh, electric field E1, that is winner in textbook Q times Q1. So there Q1 is positive, but we can take absolute value Q1 divided by the distance. Uh, it is with the Q1, with the source, Q1's direction, right? So L over 2. And also the magnitude for E2, just times the Q, times the absolute value. Q2 and then the distance L over 2, then squared. In this way, you can just use E1 plus E2, get the final answer there. Thank you.